Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I am your host, Movie Fan. Today, for Flashback Monday, I'm going to talk about a show that has sadly been long forgotten. I'm talking about Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I'm not sure how many people have ever seen it or even remember it. I've seen it, and I remember it, and I feel that it should be discussed. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs was based off of a comic book. Now, I've never read the comics, so I can't compare. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs was another one of those Saturday morning cartoons, and it was a great show. The sad thing is it didn't last very long, which is usually the story with most cartoons. It had amazing animation, a very original storyline. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is a story about a man named Jack Tenrick, and a female scientist named Hannah Dundee. Now, the story takes place in the future where, well, basically, I don't know what happened because they never really do say, but somehow dinosaurs are back to life and we pretty much kind of have gone primitive. Our technology hardly even exists. Only in certain things do we even have. So basically everything we have doesn't exist anymore. And we're ancient history, literally. And believe it or not, the dinosaurs are not called dinosaurs. They're actually called Slytherins. Don't ask me where that came from, because I have no idea. And instead of the usual kind of names like T-Rex, Pterosaur, that sort of thing, they're called all kinds of unusual names, like... Uh, Zeke for the pterosaurs, and of course, for the T-Rex, it's called the Shivet. Yeah, th that's the name they gave them. And there's even primitive dinosaur-like people called the Griff. Now, the Griff are an interesting story. They are humanoid, obviously, and they're pretty much like dinosaurs, maybe, maybe even a little frog-like. However, they seem to have amazing magic powers. They can appear and disappear wherever they want. They can control dinosaurs. It seems they really do have incredible magic powers. And there is only one human that they trust, Jack Tenrick. Because he believes in the machinery of life. It's just a little thing that he and his people have. Because his people are known as the blood mechanics. They believe in the natural order of things, of life, nature, the works. But at the same time, they love working on their Cadillacs. And they love using their Cadillacs, believe me. It was a very interesting show. You had the idea of mankind and dinosaurs living together. You even had a few enemies along the way. Such as one of the governors, Scheinhorst, is one of his worst enemies. And I know what you're going to be asking. Is that a woman? Yes, believe it or not, that is a woman. They have three governors, and she's been trying to get rid of Jack Tenrick any which way she could. Or even to use him to her advantage to try and get more power. It's not really clear what she wants out of all this, but something tells me she wants to be in charge of everything and to take things back to the way they were before everything went horribly wrong. Of course, there is also Jack's other enemy, Hammer. He was pretty much like his arch nemesis, but nothing compared to Scharnhorst. I mean, Scharnhorst was cunning and clever, and he couldn't really prove that she was up to no good, you know? But Hammer, oh yeah, he, he was just, he was a renegade. Just picture it like Mad Max. One of the things that makes this show stand out the most is the beautiful animation of all the dinosaurs, especially the Shivet. Now, I know I've talked about the Shivet before, in a dinosaur countdown that I did once. The Shivet is one of the most unique T-Rexes I've ever seen. Instead of just having the usual dark brown or dark green, 
I mean, it has the brown color, but it also has this amazing aquamarine color around its eyes, on its head, around its lips. It's really amazing to look at. Because most of the time, especially now because of Jurassic Park, we think of dinosaurs as just brown or green, stuff like that. But in this case, we're seeing dinosaurs that actually have an array of color on their face. You know, like to possibly to attract a mate, maybe. Or maybe to just uh, make them look, well, cool. But the thing that really makes this shivet so awesome, besides its look, of course, is its roar. Take a listen. That's quite a roar, isn't it? There has never been a roar like that before or since. Now, sadly, there really isn't too much to say, because the show is basically Jack and Hannah having adventures throughout the whole series. And since the series only lasted one year, there really isn't too much to say. The sad thing is, this really could have become something. Because... You had the amazing animation, you had a very solid storyline, and you had a pretty good cast of characters. So, why did it fail? I can only think of three reasons. Reason number one, fans of the comic books said that this show is nothing compared to the comics, that it is completely inferior to it. When you don't have the fans backing you up, you don't have much to work with. Reason number two, this show, if I remember correctly, started real early in the morning. We're talking 7 a.m. early. And on a Saturday, no kid wants to get up that early. Believe me, I can testify to that. Reason number three I can think of is Hannah herself. You gotta admit, she's a little scantily clad for a kid's show. Now, I know... The way I'm talking right now, I'm almost making it sound like she's wearing like a thong bikini that barely covers her nipples and everything else, which clearly, no, that's not the case. But you got to admit, she clearly doesn't wear anything underneath that shirt of hers, and it's tied like that, and you could see her you-know-what's pressing together a lot. Now, for a kid's show, that's kind of advanced, and I can imagine a lot of parents were not very happy about that. Now, I'm only guessing, of course, but these might be kind of the reasons why, you know? Now, if you want to look this series up, you can find it on YouTube, and I th believe you can find some DVDs online. Be sure to check them out if you can, because it actually is a good show. This is Movie Fan, signing off.